it is amazing to see the number of patients who have been helped by medical marijuana in California. A few of them are famous, and one, Melissa Etheridge, sent an email message to New Hampshire's legislators this morning. Uh, Barbara Filial lives in Concord. She shared her own story about battling breast cancer many times this year. Today, instead of sharing her own story, Barbara will read us Melissa Etheridge's message to legislators. Barbara. Thank you, Matt. Thank you all for being here. Dear legislators, as on behalf of Melissa Etheridge, as a cancer survivor, I am writing about a crit critically important decision that you and your colleagues will soon need to make. On October 28th, you will decide whether seriously, seriously ill patients in New Hampshire will be granted the same freedom my doctors and I were allowed when I battled breast cancer. That's why I'm asking you to vote to override Governor Lynch's veto of HB 648 so New Hampshire can join the 13 other states that no longer make patients criminals for using marijuana. If you have never experienced chemotherapy, words can't do it justice. You, fe you feel like your whole body is dying, all of your cells are dying, your appetite is gone and you are nauseous. Your hair is falling out and your skin, it's death. The only thing I could do is lie there. Light hurt, sound hurt, I couldn't read anything, it even hurt to talk. I just laid there. All of my doctors said the same thing from oncologists to surgeons. Every one of them told me that marijuana was a very good and effective way to deal with the side effects of chemotherapy. They were right. It worked within minutes, relieving the pain and nausea. All of a sudden, I could get out of bed. I could see my child. I could eat. It was amazing. I was able to use marijuana in a butter spread and to vaporize it because I didn't want to smoke. This wasn't about getting high, and I didn't get high. It just let me be normal, and it still does. I have long-term damage to my gastrointestinal system, leaving me with a complete intolerance to acid of any kind. Marijuana settles my stomach instantly. Luckily, I live in a state where medical marijuana is legal, and decisions about whether or not to use it are left to doctors and patients. My doctors weren't afraid to say honestly what they all knew that marijuana was the best treatment option to deal with the side effects of my chemotherapy. Why shouldn't people who have serious illnesses in New Hampshire have the same right? Why should they be judged for trying not to waste money? Even painkillers can be abused, but we don't stop people from using the medicine that works best for them with the least side effects just because someone else might misuse it. We have laws and rules to prevent that just like HB 648 does for medical marijuana. One of the things I saw firsthand and my doctors agreed is that marijuana is an extremely safe medicine. Patients are not going to become addicted to marijuana like they do to Vicodin, Oxycontin, <coughs> excuse me, or other prescription painkillers, pain and no one has ever died from a marijuana overdose. The people of New Hampshire, like the people in my state of California, overwhelmingly support letting patients use this medicine. A 2008 Mason-Dixon poll found that 71% of New Hampshire voters support allowing the seriously ill to use medical marijuana with their doctor's approval. But because New Hampshire doesn't have an initiative process, the fate of patients is in your hands. On October 28th, I hope that you will vote to override the governor's veto of HB 648. Everyone battling cancer should be able to get the relief I did, and they shouldn't have to risk jail to do it. Sincerely, Melissa Etheridge. Thank you. Thank you very much, Barbara. We're also very grateful to Melissa Etheridge for writing that letter to legislators. I just want to conclude the press conference by thanking everybody for coming, and I'd like to acknowledge, acknowledge a few of the people here, patients who have been involved all along. We have Richard Vincent from Loudoun, who uh, runs the 
MS support group in Concord. We have Ellen McClung, who also suffers from multiple sclerosis. And we have Darlene Wilson, who is the star of a half-page ad in today's Union Leader and Concord Monitor. I presume all of them are available for interviews afterwards, and I'd like to thank all the legislators who came to stand with patients today as well.